So we're continuing here to look at Proverbs chapter 6, beginning in verse 16 of the six things that God hates, the seven things that are abominable to God. And so as we look at them, we've looked at quite a few of them already. We've already looked in verse 18 at a heart that devises wicked plans. We looked at that yesterday and today. Uh, we're going to look at the feet that run rapidly to evil. They run rapidly to evil. They're not sitting there and pondering on it for a moment. They see evil over there. They see see something evil that's taking place and they're not just sitting around, well, should I get involved in that? Should I participate in that? No, they're running towards it and they're not just taking a gradual stroll. The Bible says that they are rapidly running towards that. Why? Because their heart is full of evil. Did you know when you look at a child, a child's heart is full of curiosity. Now, I'm a grandfather and I, my youngest daughter, she has twins. She has a boy and a girl in about a, a, a little while, in about a, a couple of months, they're going to be two years old. So they're getting around and they're getting around good. And little children that age are very, very curious. And if you put something down that they haven't seen before, they don't know what that thing's about. Friends, they're going to run after it. They're going to try to get after it as quickly as they can. And if you're not keeping an eye on them every moment and every second, friends, they're going to get into something something very, very quickly that they probably don't have any business getting into. Now, they're children. They don't know any better. They're just babies. But when you look in an adult and that adult sees that evil and he knows that evil is wicked or she knows that evil is vile, that has no business participating in that, but their heart is inclined towards it. Whatever it is that is evil, whatever it is that's wicked, their heart is inclined towards it. And again, they're not just going to take a gradual stroll. They're going to take a full out sprint and run to that evil, whatever it is, as quickly as they can. You know why? Because their heart's evil. Their heart's full of wickedness always getting into evil, always participating in evil, always right in the middle of evil, pursuing it, running after it in a full-fledged sprint because their heart's evil. Well, who's to say what's evil and what's not evil? God. Who's to say what's right and what's not right? God. Who's to say what's moral and what's immoral? God. You say, I don't care what God has to say. That they're not interested in the word of God. They might know the word of God. They might know the Bible. They might, the, they might know that the Bible tells them to stay away from those things, but they don't care about what God says because their heart's evil. Their heart's wicked. And they're going to run after those evil things. Now on the flip side of that coin, Christians ought to be pursuing everything that is good, everything that is righteous, everything that is right, everything that is honorable unto God. But as a sign that your heart is wicked and your heart is evil, you're always running after those evil things that stand in direct opposition of the things that God says is evil. And God says is right. You don't care. You're going to do what you want to do because your heart is evil. And God hates that. It's an abomination unto God. Maybe you don't care about what God hates either and what's an abomination unto God. But friends, I want you to understand there's a judgment day coming. And if you don't repent of those evil ways and you don't turn to Jesus Christ, friend, there's a great, great price that's going to be paid. The good news is if you trust in Jesus for salvation, he already paid that price upon the cross of Calvary. To where every evil action and every evil intent of your heart could be wiped away if you just trust in him, turn to him, believe on him for salvation. Ask him to forgive you your sins. He will. Ask him to come into your light and invite him to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior. He will. And 
he will cleanse that heart from all that evil.